Let's begin. IEEE SB GVPCE is delighted to host this webinar, Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality, which will let you know the future scenario with this new technology and also the future opportunities. So stay tuned with us to know more. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce you all the speaker of the day, Mr. Shyam Pradeep Alil Garu. Mr. Shyam Pradeep Alil is the co-founder and the Chief Operations Officer of Infusory Future Tech Labs Private Limited. He graduated in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from Government College, Government Engineering College, Thrissur, in 2018. He is passionate about doing projects and has filed a patent for one of his projects, Port Tito, a portable toilet that can be used while traveling in buses. He served as technical coordinator and PES chair of IEEE SB, GECT, and coordinated first ever All India PES Student Congress in 2017. He was also awarded the Kerala Session Student Volunteer Award Humanitarian in 2016. He is a young professional member of the IEEE Kerala Session and also serves as the Entrepreneurship Working Group Coordinator of IEEE Kerala Young Professionals. Sir, now I request you to take up the session. So we can first start with the virtual reality. So what is virtual reality? Like uh, when you think of virtual reality, you will think of that it's uh, like a headset. Actually, the de definition of virtual reality is that virtual reality is three gen three computer generated 3D visualization of an en environment. Like when we put the virtual reality goggles or headsets, we when we go to a computer generated world which which is completely detached from the physical world. And the function of this headset is to determine the position of our head and uh, rotate the visuals accordingly. So it's a co completely immersive environment. That the official definition of virtual reality is such that the computer generated simulation of a three dimensional image or environment that can be interacted within a seemingly real or physical way a person is using special electronic equipment such as helmet with a screen inside or gloves fitted with the sensors. Like there will be a headset through which we can view the, the computer generated world. There will be, the headset will be like a, uh, with a two lenses. The ETL lenses is for our each eye. Like the visuals shown in each lenses will be slightly different in orientation. Like what we, how our eyes function. If you want the functioning of eye, our eye closely, you can understand that. Like close one eyes and look the look at an object, and a close other eye and look at the same object. The perspective seen from the left eye is different from the perspective seen from the right eye. The same technology is used in the virtual reality. Like there will be two lenses and the vision seen in the two lenses will be slightly different. And when it goes to the brain, it will be combined you get a 3D environment feeling. And the specialty of virtual reality is that the virtual reality is a completely immersive environment detached from the physical world. Whenever we put the virtual reality goggles, we will go to a, another environment. It's like another dimension. Like, I hope you have uh, all seen the movie Matrix. And in the movie Matrix, the Hero is using a special equipment to go to the next dimension or another world. Like that, the VR headsets lead to uh, lead us in a to the computer generated world. We can experience the object in the computer generated world 
by using the virtual reality controllers. This is an application of virtual reality in chemistry. Like we can use virtual reality for education and we can conduct the virtual labs. Now, all the, the since due to the lockdown, all the things are going online. So in such cases, we can use these technologies to bring the, our education into our house, like our classroom into our house with the, all labs in a virtual way. So this is a sample. And next application of virtual reality comes in the field of gaming. Like, as you all know, virtual reality has more potential in the gaming field, like we can feel and play, as you see in this video. And this is a virtual reality roller coaster experience. I hope some of me experience this in some amusement parks or malls. Like they will be saying like this is a 5D experience. Actually, this is a virtual reality experience. And in, in this, with the help of mechanical simulators, they are recreating the experience of a roller coaster. And the uh, woman in the video thinks that she is on a actual roller coaster and that's why she is shaking. And next is the augmented reality. Most of the people confuse uh, between virtual reality and augmented reality. Augmented reality is entirely different from virtual reality. In augmented reality, we are placing virtual objects on the real world, like a camera overlay. Suppose we can see a image when we scan with our phone, it's augmented reality. Like uh, when we sit on the camera of our mobile phone and scan a uh, page, then an image or object appears, then it is called uh, augmented reality. In the case of virtual reality, we are completely going into a virtual world. But in augmented reality, virtual objects or augmented 3D models like videos, images are placed real time on the physical environment. To experience the virtual reality, we need goggles. But to experience the augmented reality, the, our mobile phone is enough. And this is a sample showing what virtual reality, what augmented reality is. The person is carrying the image of a heart and uh, then the 3D model of heart appears. Actually, it's a kind of image processing. The app recognizes that it's a picture, picture of heart and it pl places the 3D object from the library. So it's a combination of image processing and other uh, technologies like image, uh, like 3D object placement, etc. And next, go, we can go to the devices used in virtual reality. Without a device, we can't experience the virtual reality, like virtual reality headset. We require virtual reality headset for experiencing the VR. So, Google Cardboard is the most cheapest Heads, available headsets. It costs about 200 rupees in market. You can get it in a DIY package. You can simply buy it from Amazon or Flipkart and assemble your own. Like it has two lenses for right eye and for left eye. In Google Cardboard, there is no inbuilt display. So we have to put our phone in the phone holder. So that the screen will be split into two. Uh, but the visual seen through these two lenses is not the same. It's slightly different. So that the 
brain consider it as a 3D visual, like I said earlier. Do you know if we lose the sight of one eye, we cannot experience the 3D of all objects we see. Like the, we cannot see the all dimensions of, a, of an object if we lose our lose one eye. Choose experience the objects in 3D. We need the different views. And the function of these lenses is to give such a vision from different angles. And there will be a magnetic switch to interact with the app or game. And next one, next type of headset is VR board. It's completely similar to the cardboard and we have to put our phone in order to watch the virtual reality. But the difference is that it is made of plastic. Next category of headsets are professional VR headsets or industrial VR headsets. The most famous virtual reality headsets is HTC Vive. And in HTC Vive, there is an head, this is called a head mounted display. The display is integrated with the headset. And there will be controllers to track the controllers to interact with the objects in the virtual world. Like we can pick, we can place, or we can interact with the different objects we see in the virtual world. And these two are called a sensor, like this. These two are called sensors or stations. This thing is used to track the movement of the controllers. And this headset need a high-end gaming PC to for functioning properly. Like the computer needs a high-end graphics card to process the VR application. All the processing is done in the computer. And it's so these, these are wired headsets. That, like we have to plug into the computer to enjoy the virtual reality. Next one is Oculus Rift. I hope some of me recently heard the, this okay heard the name Oculus. It's a company, a sub company of Facebook. And they are producing virtual reality, various types of virtual reality. And the Oculus Rift is the first of the kind of virtual reality headsets produced by Facebook. It is similar to HTC Vive. And it has two controllers like I shown earlier in HTC Vive. And next category is mixed reality headset. It's a reality headset like you may see in Windows 10, especially there is a special app known as Mixer Reality Portal. Some of me have noticed it, but most of the people like, and that portal is for functioning of Mixer Reality headsets. Mixer Reality headsets is produced by two companies, two, three companies like Samsung and Samsung, Acer and other companies. And next category of virtual reality headsets come in standalone devices. That, that is, they don't need any personal computer or laptops to work with. They come with the processors inbuilt. They are Oculus Go and Oculus Go like the processor, the display, and the whole battery, and the whole thing is embedded in, it, in the head mount display itself. One more is there, like uh, the, the Facebook has now discontinued Oculus Go and uh, came with Oculus Quest 2. It has more powerful than these two headsets. 
the oculus go has only three degree of freedom like the degree of freedom means the dimension in which we can interact with the virtual objects like like uh, uh, we can walk we can stand we can move left move right in that way we count the degree of freedom and oculus go has only three degree of freedom while oculus ghost has six degree of freedom and the oculus go the controller tracking is done by the bluetooth this is the controller in the which comes with oculus go there is only one controller in the case of oculus go there will be two controller and in oculus go there will be four cameras these cameras are used for the tracking of the controllers and in oculus go there is additional feature that while we are experiencing the virtual world and uh, when we tend to go outward the bounded area it will alert using this camera and this is the headset used for augmented reality and it's microsoft hololens like the thing we see in many science fiction movies when we look there there will be overlay of digital things appearing in the physical world like what you say holographic experience and another headset produced by is magic leap magic leap is a startup based in usa they are also producing the similar headset so next we can uh, next we can go to the development how we can develop start developing with the virtual reality and augmented reality and uh, there are many development platforms for virtual reality and augmented reality and these three are the major platforms among them like unity game engine i hope some of you may be familiar with this logo and famous game some famous games like assassin's creed is developed using unity game engine next is unreal game engine unreal game engine is also like unity game engine we can develop augmented reality as, as well as virtual reality apps using unreal in, game engine and another one is android studio like i think i no need to explain more about android studio you all know about the android studio for developing android app using the native codes we can use virtual reality and augmented reality apps using android studio and i will be focusing more on unity because unity is a powerful, powerful cross platform development engine like we can develop apps for android we can develop apps for ios develop apps for windows platform web platform any platform we can develop uh, android ar and vr apps for multiple platforms using unity and this is the basic interface of unity here the 3d models appear and here the properties of the 3d models can be seen and the rules is hierarchy i am not going into it deep into the unity just introducing you what unity is it's actually very simple like a drag and drop platform we can create basic ar or vr games by using drag and drop no needing need of coding for 
sim for making simple or basic game. And if we need coding, we can code it using C sharp. C sharp is a programming language used in Unity along with the Visual Studio. Here are the some features of Unity which make it different from other platforms. We can as I said earlier, we can create simple games using drag and drop 3D game development. There, there are standard assets and testers available and the C sharp coding, it's like C coding, simple as C coding and cross platform app development. We can develop iOS, Android, Windows, Linux, any platforms using Unity. There is a some Unity support like there are Unity de developer communities and they uh, are conducting meetings annually, like All India, Unity, Congress, etc. And there is an asset store in Unity. In the asset store, we can get free assets like free 3D objects. We can post also the objects created by us. We can sell the objects, games created by us. There is a huge support in Unity platform. As I said uh, earlier, in AR, we need image processing technologies for object placement and image recognition. And the major SDKs used in R, like SDKs meaning software development kit, Euphoria, EC AR, and Google AR Core. It's for Android phones, like Apple AR kit for iOS phones. There is Wikitude, Kudan. 8th wall and in the case of 8th wall it's a web platform like it's a it's used for web AR. so about web AR, in the case of web AR, we don't need to install any app in our phone we can just click a link and experience the AR. that is the called web AR. and another I think most of you have experienced the filters in Instagram. It's actually an AR. So it's made using Spark AR Studio. And here is an example of what we have done using Spark AR. It's a free platform. You can create Instagram filter, AR filters using front camera or back camera and post freely on Instagram. Just try, type Spark AR Studio and you can get the, all the details from the internet itself. It's very simple like a, with a drag and drop environment. No coding skills required. And next is how the augmented reality is and virtual reality is used in industrial HR solutions. So first of all, it is used for training purpose, like the major application, major and real applications count apart from entertainment is for training. Like we can provide individual attention attention using the virtual reality and the augmented reality training. The training becomes more immersive. Let's get, get into each point. Like this is a sample training in virtual reality for, for in the field of construction. Like this man is trying to studying the principles of using the different equipments. So here, the, here from, from this video, we can understand that the safety is enforced. Before doing each step, the safety is enforced. That's why he's wearing the safety belt. So the step by, it relies on step by step process. And next is the hands-on training, like, in virtual reality headsets like Oculus course, there will be 
feature there there are features to recognize the motion our gestures of our, our hands without any sensors the camera using camera we can recognize the hand gestures so the we can get in a hands on training experience with virtual reality and yes is learn from mistakes like there are many fields which are and the environment is dangerous like oil rigs so if anything anything goes wrong in that area the whole system will explode so such situations can be simulated easily with the help of virtual reality and the trained accordingly and next is you know to like we can get a hands on training and it is work together as a team if we are physically separated but we have access to the virtual reality headset we can pair up and work together as a team so i got a question by this ar and vr does it bring difference or problems in our eyesight like if we are viewing the virtual reality for a long duration say more than 30 minutes without break it will affect us so ideally the viewing span of a virtual reality experience about 15 minutes for more than that we need to rest a while like Uh, we can view 15 minutes and take a rest of like 5 minutes and again we can view but continuous viewing for more than 15 minutes is not recommended but in the case of ar there is no restrictions in viewing the, there is no problems so i hope the the answer is clear like we can work as a team like we can simulate the company environment suppose in coming years there will not be any physical interviews like when we go to the hr hr will put a head give a headset to you, to you and when you put this you will get into the virtual office where you will be given tasks and from the task you the your skill set will be assessed that's the future of virtual reality and also from this virtual reality training we can evaluate the different parameters like our efficiency and the time taken for doing things etc la yeah, yeah this, this video is showing how the data is collected using virtual reality like we can get the, how much time we concentrated and how much time we took the things to learn etc yeah this video shows the attention span by checking the movement of headset we can get how much the time the person is concentrated into training like i am taking this webinar but i there is no way to know who all are attending this webinar carefully but with the case of virtual reality training we can get an analytics data of the all the parameters and if we can get how much time he took to learn all these things and at the last the whole thing will game will get gamified i know everyone will like to play the games so 
that's the major advantage of VR. With the VR, the whole training process will be simplified just like a game with a, instead of mod modules, it becomes levels and the score becomes your efficiency. And here is a slide using, here is a video showing the top uses of virtual reality apart from training. Ten amazing uses for the ten amazing uses for virtual reality. Number ten: space exploration. NASA have launched a new initiative, the Mars 2030 program, which aims to use virtual reality to simulate life on the red planet. Simulations have always been the most accurate way for trainee astronauts to understand the environments they could face, and the growth of affordable virtual reality equipment could help expand this experience beyond NASA employees. Anyone with access to VR headsets like the Oculus Rift or Google Cardboard may soon be able to virtually explore the moon, Mars or outer space from the comfort of their own living room. Number 9. Surgery Surgery is incredibly complicated, requiring several years of high-intensity training. Virtual reality could therefore revolutionize the industry, as it would allow students to practice procedures in a controlled and safe environment. For example, in April 2016, Dr. Shafi Ahmed performed an operation on a cancer patient that was filmed in full 360 degrees, so medical students worldwide could watch as if through his eyes. Virtual reality is also useful for experimenting with new surgical techniques, as pioneering surgeons could investigate the merits of a new procedure without having to experiment on living patients. Number 8. Military Approximately 1 in 20 military deaths occur during training procedures. It is therefore essential for soldiers to be able to receive the experience and education they require, but in a safe environment. That's where virtual reality comes in. As a supplement to actual military training, the technology offers simulations of exercises and combat environments. It records how well a soldier is performing and gives them feedback on how their decisions and reactions could be improved. It is also useful for flight simulation to improve Air Force training. Number 7. Tourism Imagine being able to visit the Louvre in Paris, the Acropolis in Athens, and the Smithsonian in Washington, all in the same day. Well, virtual reality is very close to making that possible. Virtual tourism is an intensely growing market. A number of museums, like the British Museum in London, have collaborated with developers to create specific virtual spaces. These are areas of the museum which have been filmed from all angles, so online visitors can look around at the exhibits from the comfort of their own homes. Virtual reality can also allow history enthusiasts to walk around reconstructions of ancient civilizations, like Pompeii. Number 6. Film In 2015, at the Sundance Film Festival in Utah, filmmakers premiered an innovative new medium, interactive film viewing. Using virtual reality technology, viewers are able to see through the eyes of the characters and look around the scenes as if they were actually there. Since then, the world's first virtual reality cinema has opened up in Amsterdam. The cinema is installed with swivel chairs, so you can spin around and catch the action from a different angle. Number 5. Sport Virtual reality offers a number of possibilities for both viewers and players of sports. Already, sporting events are being filmed with 360-degree cameras, which provide audiences with a viewing experience as though they were actually on the pitch. The use of the technology to help players, however, is still a bit more experimental. In 2014, before the Soccer World Cup in Brazil, the Netherlands team introduced virtual reality into their training sessions. Sessions would be recorded and then, using virtual reality headsets, players could relive their performances and evaluate the decisions open to them at specific moments. Number 4. Crime Scene Investigation in December 2014, researchers from the University of Zurich looked into virtual reality's potential for crime investigation. 
They suggested that 3D computer reconstructions would be invaluable tools for detectives, who would be able to safely survey scenes even after they have been closed for investigation, without the risk of contaminating evidence. Another advantage is that virtual reality would allow juries to observe a crime scene in greater detail than they would be able to using photographs alone. It is hoped that by 2020 this technology will be widely used in the investigations for a variety of crimes. Number 3. Therapy Recovery from a stroke or brain injury can be a long and laborious process, which can cost over $150,000 a year. Immersive virtual reality therapy is a new form of rehabilitation. It involves patients walking on a treadmill, wearing a headset that shows them relaxing and familiar scenes. Initial tests by biotechnology company MindMaze show that virtual reality therapy enables individuals to regain motor and cognitive function faster than with conventional physical therapy. This is because patients are treated in a safe, controlled and anxiety-free environment. Number 2. Shopping E-commerce is a massive industry. In developed countries, online shopping accounts for almost 15% of all money spent. Big online clothes retailers such as ASOS are looking into how to improve the online shopping experience to make it more interactive. Virtual reality is being trialed to provide customers with a virtual tour of an entire store, meaning they can shop in real time and even interact online with their friends. Scientists at the University of Technology in Sydney are also developing an app that will create an avatar of a user. So I hope the uses of virtual reality are clear. So let's go to the augmented reality. So Bosch have recently developed an app, augmented reality app to, for the troubleshooting and maintenance of cars. So that whenever a, like the car gets down, we can point this app and choose the the app shows the troubleshooting technique. Next one is HoloLens. As I said earlier, the Microsoft HoloLens is another augmented reality glass. It's uh, it's very it's have very much applications in industry, like the application comes like uh, when, suppose the plant is working in japan and uh, the headquarters is situated in the america and when a the maintenance of the plant comes the experts from the america have to read the japan but with the help of hololens the problem gets solved the Employees in the plant can wear the HoloLens as well as the experts in the uh, in USA can also guide them through the HoloLens with the markings in augmented reality. This is what shown in this video. Like they can coordinate the whole thing through the Skype code. Like the Experts in the other place can see what's going in the plant and mark the places to be examined and get the instant feedback. This is another type of augmented reality in which instead of glass or font, projector is used. Like using DLP projectors, the visuals are directly imposed into the object. And augmented is objects are shown on the real objects using the projected light. And there is like a 
sensor to detect the whole motion. Like this red light is uh, showing the gate using augmented reality projection technique. So now let's see how augmented reality can be used in sports. It's a sports item which has once taken place in, I think, 2019. It's like a World Cup. All the places are wearing the HoloLens, the Microsoft augmented reality glasses. Next is mixed reality. We have seen about virtual reality and augmented reality as well. Now let's see how the mixed reality is possible and what all devices are used in reality. Like what is mixed reality? So basically mixed reality is a combination of virtual experience and the real experience. Suppose we are bring we are viewing the virtual environment and if we can bring the physical objects in our room like chairs or table into our virtual environment it is, can be called as mixed reality or in the case of augmented reality if we see an object augmented object using a ar glass and we can interact with that augmented object corresponding to a physical interaction then it can be considered also considered as mixed reality. This is a video showing an add-on device which can be used with the iPhone to create mixed reality experience. What's been missing, of course, is the interface between the real world and the simulated world. I really felt like it was messing with my senses and taking me somewhere else. But the thing that science fiction never shows us is the set of tools, the infrastructure that gets us there. PC-based virtual reality is incredible. The graphics are amazing, but it's the positional tracking that really immerses you. But what if you didn't need a PC? Bridge is a new headset designed specifically for the iPhone. With an onboard structure sensor, Bridge unlocks full inside-out positional tracking. No high-end PC, no markers, and no external cameras. Unlike existing mobile VR, where all you can do is look around, with Bridge, you'll be free to actually move. Bridge even brings the real world into view automatically, helping you avoid obstacles. Oh man, this is so badass. I thought it was amazing to see a, a standard cell phone do this kind of mixed reality. Bridge comes with a Unity plugin, so you can easily upgrade your projects with these new capabilities. So this is what the mixed reality. So by this, the session for mixed reality is over so before ending the webinar let me talk about some of our projects and our company so our startup name is infusory we have started in 2015 as a campus startup we have started by giving workshops in augmented reality and virtual reality all over india and in 2018 we got registered as a officially as a firm and started taking the industrial projects.
our first major project was with the Singapore Airlines in airplane VR training. And this is a simulator we have made for cleaning staff of Singapore Airlines so they can learn cleaning without an actual aircraft, without using an actual aircraft. They can wear the headset loaded without simulation softwares and experience the cleaning process. They can also learn cleaning by themselves. I will show you a video. Like this, they can study the cleaning procedures and they can try as well. And next one is augmented GC. This is a project done when we are at our college. Like there will be res restrictions to use the plastic clothes. So the pa political parties have to use the cloth clothes in with, uh, in with the there is restriction in displaying images. So we use digital media to display the images and videos of the campaign. So this is a screen recorded video of our app. And next one we have done is an augmented resume for CLAP International School of Business Bangalore. So what we have done is when we point up our app to the resume, the holographic models of the candidate pop up saying their skills so that the institution can get a real experience rather than reading the reading through the paragraphs they have written. There is also a, a, a add to shortlist button, which when pressed gets a mail that the candidate is shortlisted. And this is the video. This is the video we have captured during the development of the scene. Next project, we have we have done some work for a couple of media houses, like for movies like Nine, Lucifer, etc. And this is a augmented reality treasure hunt created by us. So next we have done a project for Mohalal, the legendary actor in Malayalam, through which one can act with the Mohalal through a app. And yes, we have done some projects with AR, AR kiosk, like so that they can post with Avengers and take photos.
Yes, uh, when the COVID-19 strikes, we have also made an Instagram filter for the awareness of fairy mask. And it's still available. You can check it using the above link bit.ly slash amask20. And this is a currently our product we are focusing on, like augmented reality classroom app. Like teachers can use this app as a teaching aid to conduct augmented reality classroom. So I hope you got a picture about what is for what basically is virtual reality, augmented reality, and its applications and industry. It's an amazing field. You can start the augmented reality or virtual reality by studying the Unity 3D game engine first. Then you can go to building the AR app through studying the SDKs like Euphoria. If you have have any doubts, you can contact me anytime and this is my email id and phone number a very good evening one and all and to our honorable speaker mr sham pradeep alil garu it's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion ladies and gentlemen I, on behalf of IEEE student branch, Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering Autonomous and the entire student branch team, extend a very hearty vote of thanks to our speaker, Mr. Shyam Pradit Alil Garu, for gracing this occasion and sharing with us your findings and opinions today. A big thank you to you, sir, for your efforts towards the webinar AR and VR. We are also grateful to you. I would Thank also you. like to express our I'd also like to express our profound gratitude to the faculty for the presence in this webinar. The participants were very enthusiastic and have learned good very good things from this webinar. I'd also like to thank our counselor Dr. G Satish Kumar Garu for his directions and suggestions. I also extend my thanks to our student branch chairperson, Mr. Abiram, and also to each and every Exicom member for their enormous planning and cooperation in organizing this event. Once again, I thank the speaker. We thank you for being with us today. It's been a great pleasure and knowledge gained for all of us. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs>